Hello guys, we are back in Civilization 6, and today, as a follow-up to our science victory video, we are going to be looking at the best civilizations for a domination victory. Now, part of this list was made by me and the civs that I thought were fun, and part of this list was recommended by the community on different channels. So I'm going to be pulling from all sorts of areas to try to pick five civs that are good with domination. Now, this list is not in any particular order, nor is it factual, it is mostly opinionated. So if you think there are any civs that I left out of this list, feel free to comment below and explain why they are good at a domination victory. My goal is to have someone come on this video and just know what civ they want for their domination victory because they can read and listen to all the options available. So make sure to leave your comments and let's get right into it. First on our list is the fairly obvious Scythia Empire. Now, Scythia's unique ability produces two light cavalry units for every one they produce, effectively doubling their army production and making them one of the best domination civs in the game. They can also use this ability to double produce their unique Saka Horse Archers, a highly mobile ranged unit which can dominate the early stages of the game and doesn't even require horses to build. On top of her already powerful production, Scythia's leader ability gives the armies a bonus when fighting wounded units. It also heals your units every time you defeat one of your enemies, which is a big bonus to your military. The unique improvement of the Scythians is the Kurgan, which allows you to produce bonus faith and gold, both of which can be used to purchase and maintain a large army if the circumstances are correct. All of this comes together to make Scythia an extremely formidable choice for going to war. Second on our list is another obvious choice in the Aztecs. Now, the Aztecs were a civ built to rule over the earliest stages of the game's warfare. Their unique Eagle Warrior unit can be built right off the bat and is a powerhouse for most of the ancient and classical eras. On top of their enhanced strength, they have the chance to convert any non-barbarian enemies they kill into builders. Since you'll be getting all these extra builders, you'll be able to make use of the other Aztec special ability which allows builders to put their charges towards speeding up district production. Since your districts will be built faster, and you won't need to spend as much time producing districts and builders, you can focus more on producing more Eagle Warriors, and continuing the cycle of mayhem you will be inevitably causing. Now, the Aztecs also get a bonus in amenities from luxury resources, and each unique luxury they have access to will increase their military strength even more. This is an extremely useful ability once you have conquered a lot of land and are using those captured builders of yours to improve the vast number of luxury resources you will have access to. Finally, their unique building will provide extra amenities as well as some faith. The building also helps you produce great generals, which will help lead you ever closer to your domination victory. Next up, we have Greece, specifically the Greece ruled by Gorgo. Now, Gorgo and the Greek civilization were added to this list because of the synergy between their war and their culture. They are able to get their unique hoplite unit fairly early on, like the Aztecs, which serves as a spearman replacement that gets enhanced strength when near other hoplites. By using these hoplites to slaughter your enemies, you can utilize Gorgo's special leader ability, which gives you culture for every kill you get. This synergizes with the Acropolis district that the Greeks receive, allowing you to generate large quantities of culture to aid in your war efforts. Lastly, the Greek special ability gives you a free wild card slot for every government policy you can choose, which can be used to boost your war efforts however you feel is necessary. Next on our list, we have England. Now, England and Queen Victoria are one of the go-to civilizations for domination when it comes to cross-continental battles. Her unique Navy Dockyard District replaces the harbor and gives bonuses to all ships built there, as well as extra gold and great admiral points. England is also one of the few civs with two unique units. They first have the Sea Dog, which is a unique, powerful naval unit, and they also have the Red Coat, which gains a bonus when fighting on other continents from the home continent. Queen Victoria's leader ability also enhances your continental warfare further by providing a free melee unit every time you capture a city that is not on your home continent. Now, this was recommended to me by other players because many who have played England often will build up their red coats and then deal with any civs on other continents, and once they've amassed a great deal of land and resources, they will come back to their home continent and clean out the area for a domination victory. The final civ to make it on this list was Norway. 
requested since many of their abilities revolve around domination in the first place. Their unique leader ability allows their navy to perform coastal raids, and their civilization ability allows their naval units to heal in neutral territory. Their units can also enter the ocean tiles much earlier in the game, and their units ignore additional movement costs from embarking and disembarking. Although Norway doesn't get the cross-continent bonuses that England does, they have a much easier time managing the oceans than the other civilizations do. By using this to their advantage, the Norwegian civilization can easily capture key coastal cities and secure themselves a domination victory. And that's it for this video guys, as always make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any civs that you feel I left out, other civs you think should be on this list and why you think they should be there so that people can come watch the video and get a sense of what they need to learn to play the game. As always, I'll see you guys next time.